Today I'm going to talk about a word issue from the TED Talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the title is about a boat carrying 500 refugees sank at the sea, the story of the two survivors. And the speaker is um, Melissa Fleming. And um, and um, the the story the story of uh, is talk about the one survival of Dora. This is Dora, and uh, she tries to flee from the war country to the Europe, and um, she aboard on an overloaded ship carrying more than five hundred re refugee ships, a uh, boat, and but sunk in the sea. She becomes an unlikely hero, and the speaker. And the speaker, uh, and the speakers persuade the people to dealing with the war issue right now. So uh, the whole story is talk about Dora. She is a 19 years old Egypt girl, and she fell in love with Basel. And they decided to go to the Europe by take, taking the boat, like. Um, so they did buy a ticket and they're gathering at the beach and they uh, aboard on an old fish boat, the fishing boat, like, and they, um, so the first day at the boat, they, the people are sick and the last day, and the, the second day and third day, the crews got irritated, so, Mm, they called a small boat camp, uh, approaching the, their old fishing boat. So they plumbed the children and deprived their money and the food or other stuff. So, and they dig a hole in the old boat, old fishing boat. So the, their boat becomes sunk at sea. And uh, Dora was afraid of water, but she still wanted to go to e Europe. So Basel placed her on a Moss, a baby swimming pool. Um, so, and then a uh, was a good, good swimmer. So sh he stay at the water and uh, push Dora in the sea. Yeah. And so she got survived, but Basel was uh, died in front of her eyes. And uh, she also s <laughs> and. Uh, Maybe a few days, a few days later, few days later, there's two, there's two mothers send their ch children, send their children, and the youngest uh, send two children to to Dora and want her to take care of the children, uh, but their mother was also bad, and they sunk in the sea. So the youngest children were only it's only 19 months, 19 months, and. Uh, and they float on the sea like this. And after four days, after four days without any uh, drink and what, uh, any water and food, and she, and later midnight at the first day, she saw a boat, a big boat that, and she yelling at them, and uh, waving their hands to the boat, and the searchlight finally searched her and the saving the three, three of them. So, um, oh, this is the two children who are oh. saving. So this is only 19 years old. Oh, the 19 <laughs> months. <laughs> okay. um, and, um, yes, and she, and she, after those, uh, after she survived, so she helped the she helped her this baby to find their family, and uh, she still uh, the Dora one still want to go to Sweden to the Europe to united with her family, so uh, I think she is an extraordinary survival, and uh, yeah. so. This is my conclusion and my opinion that uh, why there's no illegal way for her to go to Europe because she is living in a war country, so there's no way to 
there's no way to save in those refugees, or there's those countries are not helping them, but just want to try to far away from them. And uh, why she must, why Dora must to take this risk to go to Europe, but she can get a more comfort, comfortable way to go to Europe, just like taking the plans or other stuff. But uh, no person, no person fleeing war or persecution should have to die crossing a sea to reach safety. So there's no important than saving human life. Uh, so I think we should stop the war and uh, stop, stop the war sorry. <laughs> stop and saving the refugees. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions? I do. So, um, so you said that um, the speaker was trying to. So he 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 gave the story to persuade the audience to do yeah. something. So what exactly was it that, or she? What what was it that she wants us to do from this story? She wants us to um, saving the refugee and persuade the other country that that rich rich country that such as some Europe country or there to saving them, not just uh, leaving them in the war country. Yeah. But, um, the speaker also s show us some of the war country pictures. Their house are totally destroyed. So there is no home to live. So they just, they only can uh, flee on the boats to cross into other countries. Who's the speaker? <laughs> Melissa Melissa something yeah. Melissa Fleming. <laughs> Melissa Fleming. 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 Melissa Fleming.